okay <laughs> it just feels so wrong that you're in his room it just feels wrong to do yeah you. i hang out in here because my room is so bright so when i need like not a bright room sometimes it's too bright i'll sit in his bed but i never like yeah. do things in here i don't feel so weird <laughs> i'm in your I room was about to s- <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> i was about to say that i remember what video is that that you were like just laying in your brother's bed you're like i'm in my brother's room <laughs> there's like a recent video of yours yeah i've been doing it recently my room is just so bright during the day i don't know what it is that it's just not like a comfy cozy well it's because your room is like like when this where the sun shines your room is right there yeah it's like so it's so like, bright it's perfect in like the evening times when the sun's going down but like it's bright in there yeah so Such i'm in my brother's enough. room if anyone's watching the, that's the, podcast. the elephant in the room is that if everybody's like where is sarah she's in her brother's room don't worry guys she's not held captive anywhere i didn't like take her against her will <laughs> and, like, my room just has the somewhere. worst <laughs> it's the worst wi-fi in my room it's always been like that because i'm like above the garage so that's okay i'm here i don't know why i'm doing this little thing with my shoulders anyway <laughs> hello Hi guys. welcome back to another episode of bookmarked with sarah and des i don't know why i said sarah and then i went des even though it's <laughs> sarah and des that's what it yeah. is uh thanks okay. so much for tuning in for another episode it's episode 16 can you believe that that's 16 like 16 a lot. weeks yeah, that's because a long time. when you think of it, it's like you think of sixteen, you're like, oh, there's sixteen episodes. But then you think of it, it's like we do an episode every week, so it's sixteen yeah. weeks. Is that four months? I don't know math. Is that a full month? No, four. Is that four months? Oh my god! I thought Sarah <laughs> literally said, "Is that a full month?" I was like, "More like yeah, four of them." <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a long time. It is a long time. You know what I found out the other day? Because I've been listening to podcasts so much. And we can get into that later. 52, yeah. like on your 52nd episode, that's like a full year. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. And then you have, because like podcast milestones, you have like your 52nd episode. And then yeah. your 100th episode is yes. like. You know so. how like, I always relate back to Zane and Heath, but you know how they have like different seasons? Like, are we going to do a different season at 52? No, because, like, so when, on the back side of it, hello, guys, like, when I <laughs> upload the podcast, it says, like, what season and what episode, because it goes, like, previous episode, season yeah. one, episode 15, and I'm like, yeah, we're in season one, this is season one of our, our show. <laughs> I don't know how people, like, measure the seasons, though, like, I don't know when they're, like, oh, yeah, I, this, I, it makes sense after 52 to have, like, second season, but then after that, I don't know, I literally base everything off Zane and Heath, so, whenever they did se- season two, <laughs> that's what i mean no like everybody does that though like i listen to the pretty basic podcast and they're like oh we're like they they'll take like a two to three week break and not post anything and then they come back for a new season but i'm like how long like how many episodes is in one season (laughs) in my head it's like 50 like 50 seems like a season is that too many (laughs) that's like a year yeah that makes sense to me yeah like the 52 mark that makes sense like a year full of yeah that makes sense that's how we're gonna do it that's all that matters <laughs> how we're gonna do it over here we're that's fine quarter i don't i'm not even gonna try to do math i was gonna say a quarter of the way there i don't know maybe i don't know don't ask me to do math <laughs> i'll tell you that it's gonna be wrong but yeah. did you watch did you watch or listen to the news and heath episode the other day which one the one that just came out monday this week yeah i didn't finish it i'm like halfway through i was listening to it this morning well do you know when the because us talking about the seasons it reminds me of like because when i think of like a season i think of like a sitcom for some reason like the seasons of friends or like modern family yeah I, well i listened to that i got like halfway through but they were like cracking me up this episode they always crack that me up. that episode was so funny like it yeah. was like one of the I best always that to think of like like we have like a theme like books is like majority of like what we like can go off about there's a lot but like how do they like start talking about the most random things like how do they have topics for their podcast like i don't even like they talk about everything and anything on there and they never get bored that is so funny that you brought that up because i literally this was like one of the whatever talking points that i had that i was like in the car yesterday listening to the episode from the gym and i was thinking i was like i'm gonna say this on the podcast like when i listen to their episodes and they just talk about anything i think that they look at like what's happening lately like what's been on social media and they all like sit down and talk about it but like for example the part in the episode where they're talking about like finding a random notebook journal like in their yard i was like why does nothing interesting happen to me i can't go on the podcast and be like i can't go on the podcast and be like guess what happened to me the other day i'm always like there's nothing going on no nothing but i think they save things to tell each other on the podcast even though they hang out all the time and when i was like trying to think of like what i could talk about today 
nothing. I was like, wow, I do absolutely nothing. No, There's nothing I can really I'm talk saying. about. I'm like reaching for things to talk about. And it's like with that, like with the notebook story, because the notebook story really stuck out to me. Like I just really was like, there's nothing like that going on in my life. Yeah. And I was like, I can't even like, I don't even have like that, like offhand stories to be like, because when you think about it, that story is not like super whatever. It's like a pretty like mundane thing. Yeah. But they like the way they say it and everything like makes it so interesting. I, mean, I love I the way they tell stories. going on in my life. I literally no. do nothing. No. The most exciting thing was all those concerts and I have nothing else to look forward to. There's nothing else oh, yeah. for me to to chat about going on in my life uh speaking of a concert that you went to recently yeah concerning the jonas brothers did you see the news that oh broke my this god morning? i did i saw someone post it on their story and i thought it was like fake for some reason and then i no, clicked it it's, i was like shook. fans had been speculating because they noticed at the concerts that he wasn't wearing his wedding ring and so if you guys don't know it the news broke via joe's or did they do like a post where it was like from the both of them but it was really like joe's pr team putting it out there yeah i think Um, it it was just words like they were just like i think because people found out and started making like news articles that they had to put out like a little statement yeah but it was like which it felt very much like everything was coming from like joe's side of things like his pr team and his side of things because he says like yeah we're getting a divorce but then like instead of just being like we're getting a divorce his team him whatever was like it's because sophie wants to go out and party and i want to be at home with the kids and i was like yeah that's why in the statement it was i I don't know i have to like find it i don't know what he said in it but it was like what you're seeing is like i don't know so from us we're just saying that we're gonna go our separate ways or something And it was funny because I saw somebody on TikTok this morning because, you know, it's what everybody's talking about because everybody was speculating. And somebody was like, they got this old, like, deleted TikTok from 2020 or whatever. And it was, like, him and Sophie doing one of those, like, who's, like, the most whatever. And it was, like, who's the homebody? And they both pointed to her. I was, like, but now all of a sudden she wants to go out and party. And she is the whatever. Also, that's such, like, an interesting thing. I don't know because he's, like, on tour. It's, like, okay, she can go That's what people are saying. I don't know. That's such like a maybe someone made that up and is running with it. Why do I think that's so? Like she's on tour with him. What do you mean? Like she's out on tour with him. Like she's like. What do you mean she's going out and partying? Like that's now that's an, like, an issue. From what I've seen and heard, that's like an actual statement that his team made. You never know what's going on. No, and that's the thing too. Like when I was thinking about this, and I wrote it down as a topic, I was like, "But here's the thing: like we know nothing about these people. Like we think we do, but we really know like nothing oh, about yeah. them." If I were to pick sides, and I guess I will, um, <laughs> <laughs> but if I were to pick sides, I would be picking Sophie Turner's. I just love her. I do too. That's why this is so sad. She seems I love like the both such of them. a vibe. Don't they have two kids? Is it yeah, one they or have two kids together? I think yeah, two. This is crazy. It's really breaking up the whole she, Jonas clan. No, and here's the thing, though. I feel like everybody's taking Sophie's tide on... Tide? <laughs> what? <laughs> Sophie's side on TikTok, from what I've seen, maybe just because I'm on Sophie's side, that I'm not seeing anybody on Joe's side, but they were like, no one's going to disrespect the Queen of the North. I'm like, you guys will relate Game of Thrones to anything. <laughs> Never watched Quite that. literally anything. It's, like, kind of funny. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really have... A, I don't have a side. I feel like there's... I don't know. It feels like it was, like, a mutual... Yeah. But I also only saw one Instagram story. Like, I have no idea. I really can't. I don't have an opinion yet, I think. Yeah, I don't... I'm, I don't have, like, a full opinion. I just know that it... And it's, like, pretty early on, too. So, we can't really, like, say much. Don't worry, guys. We'll update. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably never think about it again. Like, the way we're, like, the news reporters on these... Oh, yeah. ...random well, topics. I love, like, hearing... Like, so, when I... Because I've been in a podcast made recently. Like, listening to vlogs, podcasts, whatever... And when I listen to podcasts, I don't know why I just love hearing, like, other people's opinions on yeah. things that I know are, like, in the media. Like, yeah. being like, oh, I really want to know, like, Zayn and Heath's opinion on this. Like, yeah. like just but, the but most I love random. When they, yeah, but I love when they start talking about random things or asking random questions they know nothing about. Like, I think it's just oh, so funny. Yeah. I love when they just no. go off. Like, what was That's, they were just... Yeah. I think they... What did Matt just ask a random question in this episode? And he was like, yeah. the way we ask questions and we don't know any answers to any of them. No, it was like... The, they so were talking funny. about the, the SWAT thing. They were talking about the SWAT yeah. thing. He was like, like no, because they start out... What they do is they start out <laughs> saying something. They're like, no, it's kind of like this. And then they like realize that they don't know what they're talking about. They're yeah, like, they just well, make if it anybody's up. on the SWAT, then tell us. Let us know. I'm like, yeah, because I love them, but they just like talk like no... Like they just speculation. 
Yeah. Like, they're just like... It's so funny, though, just hearing them talk about things, though, so... It's okay. I we know. can do it, too. That's why we're speculating on their divorce. And this is what That's we That's what... What do we always <laughs> say? Don't take anything we say as fact, because no, we have done not a single pretty thing. much no research. <laughs> <laughs> no. We just write down what we want to talk about, and nothing yeah. behind that. <laughs> um... Oh my gosh, we didn't talk about our drinks of the episode. I like got oh, it. Like, what do you have? What's your dope? What's your drink of the episode? Mine is, remember when I complained last week about coffee? I have a coffee. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <Aww>. I know. <laughs> well, because I've been waking up a little early and getting my day started a little early. So like I hit a wall at like noon. So like yes. noon caffeine. And it's so, that's so bad. Um, it, Brown sugar, oat milk shaken. The usual. <laughs> what do you have? Um, I have the energy drink that I started before I went to the gym and I oh. am now just sipping on it because you won't believe this, but I had already like passed Starbucks. And so I was like, oh crap, I wanted to get a coffee and I didn't want to turn around. So I went to Dunkin' and tried like a hazelnut latte. It was the worst thing that I think <laughs> I've ever tasted coffee wise. And I was like, oh yeah, no, we're not doing this. I guess I'll just drink the energy oh, drink that's no. been sitting out for four hours as my drink of the episode. <laughs> How was your Dunkin' the other day? Was that, it looked good. Was it bad? It it looked perfect. Like, the coloring of everything of it, like, looked good mm-hmm. today. Like, the one that I sent you the other day was good. Yeah, like it was that one was good. Gen- that I one is the one that looked good. I forget what um, I even got. But it was just today, a picture you sent. I even, like, came home, because sometimes my mom likes to, like, my mom doesn't like coffee. She's not a coffee drinker. But she likes to, like, take, like, a sip, because she's, like, wants to say. So I was like, take a sip of this one. And she did, and she was like, that is like putrid almost like that is the most like bitter like i feel like with duncan us me not us me going on a tangent <laughs> like with duncan it can either taste like pure gasoline or it can taste like the sweetest thing you have like, yeah ever tasted in your life it's a hit or miss you really never know when you're going to duncan it's really just a gamble <laughs> with I it's like, like you know, the one by my house because i love it See, that's what I'm saying. But, like, with Duncan, it's, like, I wouldn't go to, like, Las Vegas and gamble, but I do gamble about, like, seven bucks on this latte. Oh, like, yeah. I'm willing to do that. <laughs> when I went to I went to Duncan, I don't know if it was a few weeks ago, but they gave me the person, I don't know if it was behind me's order or something, the wrong one I drove away without realizing. And I was too embarrassed to go back around, so I drove to another Duncan. And I was, like, I need to get my drink. Because I, there was no way I was going back around saying this wasn't mine. And it was a yeah. fine drink. I just not mine. So I gave it to my brother. And I was like, literally, I went to another Duncan. So I was too embarrassed to go back around. <laughs> <laughs> do you do the Duncan rewards? No. I used to. But I don't. You I need don't. to do it because listen to what I'm about to tell you. <laughs> I think it's, is it every Monday? Or is it every Monday after the some team wins, you get a free medium ice drink? Oh. Uh, with I need the to purchase. Do- like you could like purchase like hash browns and you get a free medium yeah. iced coffee. I see all the time Duncan stuff that they're doing. And I used to have it, but I think it was... Maybe I just, like, stopped using it. I don't remember why I stopped. Like, I stopped going to Duncan, maybe, but I need to get it again because I go there pretty frequently now, so... Yeah. You've, you've was, switched back over to the dark side. I have. It's just, my, it's just my fall thing. Fall and winter just, like, equals Duncan in my head, so... I'll get the um, I don't. I don't know. I just... And you know what, though? I really wanted a coffee. Like, I really wanted one, and I had... Like I said, I passed Starbucks. So I was like, we're just gonna have to go with Duncan'. And then, yeah. And then and I tried to put I'm creamer sorry. in it when I came home. And my mom was like, mm-hmm. just put creamer in it. And I was like, you're right. Nope. Almost no. made it taste worse. Yeah. <laughs> you can't really fix it once you're there. There's no going back. The Dunkin' no. Rewards, I hope it's like Starbucks. Because you can, like, add the money, obviously, in the Starbucks card. I hope it's like that. Because then whenever I go to Starbucks, I feel like I'm, I'm it's free. Like, the whole girl math yeah, it's free. Yeah, like, money. Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> So, Dunkin' can do that. Math, yes. <laughs> like, I'll go. I'll use that if Dunkin' has that. But if not, I'll just use my card. Oh, no, that's like me. Like, I always pay cash if I get, like, my nails done. And I feel like oh, yeah. I got my nails done for free. Yeah. That's like I have um, a Venmo card. And if people Venmo me, it kind of just sits in there. So whenever I use my Venmo card and, like, a coffee, it's free. Like, I don't. Like, Venmo money is not my money. I don't know what it is, but it's not my money. No, it's it all make-believe. But you know the toxic thing about me? <laughs> what? Is that the money in my bank account doesn't feel like real money <laughs> either because... <laughs> <laughs> I can't see it. But then again, when I see cash, that's not real to me either because yeah. I don't see it in my bank account. Yeah. But then again, when it's bank account money, I'm like, it's not real. Like, I'm just <laughs> like spending frivolously. I'm like, woo, woo. Like, yeah. oh my gosh, guess what? My stickers came in that we talked about two podcasts <gasps> ago. I haven't opened them yet. Oh, really? The Taylor Swift ones? Yes. Oh, I can't wait to see them. In other good news, how do yes. you feel? 
How do I feel? About Jessa Hastings' new series, oh. Unveiling. <laughs> Wait, so when it was... Okay, so hold on. Let me start from the beginning. This is like a story I have. So okay. she was posting like like cryptic little reels. Yeah. Did you see those? So she yes. posted like... It was like a picture of Big Ben and it was like a clock chiming, like TikTok or whatever. So it said TikTok. The first had like three, whatever. So people were assuming like in three days she's going to announce something. And it was falling around Magnolia's birthday. So like my assumption was like, oh, we're going to get the new cover for Into the Dark. No, not, maybe not Into the Dark. Maybe Magnolia Park's... I don't know. I thought we were going to get a new cover of something because she talked on a podcast how the next book is going to have Magnolia's face on it, how she like depicts Magnolia, which I'm really nervous for. But I thought it was going to be that. So I was speculating and I was like, oh my God, it's going to be this. And then she put down like a countdown and she was like 1 p.m. this day, like whatever. So I clicked the count on Instagram to get notified. And it was like 12.59 and I'm refreshing the page, refreshing the page because I wanted to be the first one to see. And, like, when it hit one, I think it was, like, a little after one, it posted, like, what it was, and it was, like, a reel, and it was, like, really fairy tale esque music, and it's up now, so you can probably see it, but yeah, she posted it, and it said, like, new series, this is the vibe, and whatever, and then she tagged, it tagged the um, Instagram page to Never, which is the name of the new series, and then it disappeared, because I went to go click on the comments to see what everyone was saying, and it was gone, and I was like, oh, but I already followed the Never, I already ordered it, I already liked the pictures, I was like, was I not supposed to, like see this or order it and then i got nervous because she deleted it and i was like did something go wrong and like she has this like little group chat on geneva and i'm in it (laughs) i don't really talk in it i just go in there so i could see her updates because she's like really active sometimes so i was in there and she was like none of no one in like the u.s can see the post or something like that and i was like i saw it but it was gone and then like an hour or two later i think it like reposted or something like that and i was like refreshing the never page and everything and it was like disappeared and everyone was freaking out and i was like listen i know but i'm not gonna tell you <laughs> i was like i already I bought it you don't know and yeah that's how i felt and yeah she posted and it's called never and it's gonna be a retelling i think of like the peter pan neverland that vibe oh okay that's yeah very she's different dipping, <laughs> yeah she's dipping into fantasy she said she's been thinking of this for like years and years and years she had a plan and she confirmed in the geneva app someone said oh the never series follows the artists that made like the original magnolia parks covers and they were like is she designing like the never covers and she is so it's gonna be probably very beautiful oh so I'm yeah very excited yeah so i'm excited i just want i will literally read any of her books so i don't really care what it's about i'm just like i'm excited to see her write something that's not magnolia parks universe you i'm know? so interested in your like, I think it's so cute that you know, like, everything about Jessa Hastings. Like, you're literally like, I follow her on Geneva. Don't even know what that is. You're like, I know that the artist that she follows, I know this, this, and this about her. And I'm like, how do is you it even con- know? Is it concerning? Is it too far? No. No, it's like, because the thoughts that are going through my mind is I was like, I wonder if Sarah J. Mass has anything like that. <laughs> yeah. I would be a part of it. I'm just very, I'm happy that Jessa has, like, a lot that I can keep up with like Sarah J Mass, yes. like she's not really given much but no. Jessa has like the group chat and it's free group chat Geneva it's literally just like a group chat you can have different it's kind of like discord but like a yeah. different app and she has different channels for like all the books and stuff and I just like pop in sometimes when like she's like releasing something to see like any updates on there and that's where yeah. I found out like what was happening and everything but yeah and I thought it was going to be a new cover but it's a whole new series and it's literally coming out in December like the first book comes out in December oh I'm so you so don't excited. have to wait a super long time i'm so no. excited for you thank you we have this and then we have magnolia parks three and then i'll probably start crying after that so. i will probably have you read never <laughs> and then tell me if i should read it or if i should never read it <laughs> <laughs> that was good no i will i'll read it obviously as soon as i lay my eyes on it i'm really excited yeah, I'm so excited for you that that's, it's always exciting when like an author starts like a new series of like an auto buy author, like starts a new yeah. series because you're always excited to see like what they're going to do. Yeah, and I'm excited like, to see her writing in something else because she said she's been like working on this for years and years. So it's like, and she has very magical fairy tale esque writing anyway. Yeah, so that's why I feel like it's going to be that, good. Yeah, I think that, I also think that she could do that very good, especially yeah. because it's like Peter Pan. And Peter Pan's just a very, like, magical, fairy yeah. tale esque story, so. I'm, I'm gonna have to rewatch Peter Pan, because when I was younger, I just never really retained anything from what I watched. But the Instagram, it's called the Never 
series and it's like never by jess on instagram and like the reels and the aesthetics are so cute it's like giving very much like fairies and like like true like fairy tale like neverland yeah. vibes like she's really like going with it and i'm excited i well so, i love that for you and speaking no. of your your gas stations in indiana my when my dad was here last weekend i was with him in the car and i had to get gas and i went to the gas station and he was like about to get out and i was like oh forgot that you moved we are in new jersey oh yeah and, because he had to like stop at oh he's getting a drink somewhere so we went to the gas station and then he was like so you don't have to pump your gas and this is crazy i was like did you forget new jersey yeah. i'm like i'm not getting out of my car and i don't know how you by yourself get gas genuinely i can't do anything uh, by myself in the gas station is the one place that actually scares me i don't want to get out of my car <laughs> well no and that's the thing too because like we don't want yeah and if you guys didn't know in jersey you don't pump your own gas the oh, yeah. like person comes up to you and pumps it for you but it like where we are in Indiana, uh, you go and you pump the gas and like the inside of the gas stations, like like I said, it's not like a Wawa. That and like me. I said, you have you run the risk every time of getting kidnapped. That's why I always broad daylight, I will never go to an empty gas station either. Like there always has to be like a lot full of people yeah. for me to like go get gas because one of my fears is like the gas station's empty and I go to get gas and it's like somebody like can kidnap me. So I'm like yeah, always, it always not. has to be full. I feel like every so, gas station should have people like New Jersey. I think we're doing something right with this. Like I think every state should have people yeah. pumping their gas for them. I do think I have this like toxic mindset of like I could just like fight somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of fights, did you see the Morgan Wallen fight <gasps> at his concert? No, no. The romper stomper video. You didn't see the romper stomper video. No, I haven't been on okay. TikTok in a while. I've banned myself. Well, that's good. Um, I can't <laughs> say the same. So I think I'm going to look this up and show you. And to give a little bit of a backstory, it was between, it was a mom that, a so mom? mom and daughter were at the concert and they're at the porta potties. And at the beginning of the video, you can see the mom and a woman is, ar they're arguing back and forth. And you can tell the mom just kind of like, like confused. And then the girl mm -hmm. starts fighting her and they're at the porta potty. Somebody's trying to get out of the porta potty. They fall into the porta potty and the girl starts like oh. trying to put the mom's head into a porta potty. <gasps> the daughter yeah. runs out of the porta potty and drags every, I mean, beats the living crap out of this girl and another girl too. Like literally was i've that? never did i thought the I'm fight was you. over like was there the, like a reason the girl so when you see the video the girl in the pink was drunk and told the mom that she cut her in line for the bathroom bruh that was me at luke combs trying to get into the porta bodies <laughs> in <laughs> is this not 100 home? degrees oh well, but they're calling it a romper stomper why is that it's because really she's wearing this freaking romper okay whatever we'll watch this part was that the daughter in the romper yeah this is the daughter <laughs> this music <gasps> not him pulling him by oh my god no watch <gasps> oh my god wait can you tell me who's who like who's who's the daughter who's the mom okay so the girl in the denim romper is the yeah. daughter and okay. the woman that was like in the kind of like white uh like uh cardigan whatever looking thing was the mom okay the girl in the pink was the girl that started arguing with the mom okay so that's why she drags the girl in the pink beats her up real quick and then comes back around <laughs> too but the girl in the black that she kicks literally yeah. kicks in the face guess what that mm. girl at the beginning of the video of like another it's at the beginning they like cut it out of that video at the beginning of that video, the girl in the black. So the girl, the girl in the pink, and the mom are arguing. The girl in the pink gets the mom to a porta potty. The girl mm -hmm. in the black looks and says, "Hold my drink," and is trying to get the girl in the pink off the mom. But she just got called. Oh, in the she was fire. helping. <gasps> and she kicked. She, and she got beat up worse than the girl in the pink. Oh, I feel and so I was bad. Like, oh the my the god. The security grabbing the one little tiny string on the pink girl, pulling her oh. back. Why was that so funny? <laughs> I was like, but the fact that like she comes out of nowhere. I think she did an interview with like Dave Portnoy on Barstools, and I think I had seen a clip where he, of course, yeah, he has to insert himself into it. But <laughs> he was like asking her, and he was like, "Oh, have you ever been in a fight before?" She was like, "I've never been in a fight in my life." Wow, that's Said, crazy. We can't body. tell because <laughs> you straight up kind of looked like an MMA. Like the fact that you kicked, she like closed the door, opened it, kicked her in the face, and then the mom dragged the girl out of the porta potty. The poor girl was completely innocent. Oh my god, this is that's crazy. I feel so bad for her. Yes, and I said, you owe that girl an apology, but also, to play devil's advocate, all that girl saw was her mom and two girls on top yeah. of her. If anyone came after my mom, 
I'm kicking. No, that's the thing too. <laughs> like that's the thing on TikTok where it's like, uh, like I'm coming out. I'm like defending my mom like this, and I literally told my mom she and my mom were talking about it. And I said, I wouldn't even have the chance. I said, because the girls in the port, I would have been in the porta potty and I would have heard somebody start arguing with my mom. And my mom would have already had them on the floor, probably like beat <laughs> the crap out of them. My mom's a fighter and yeah. has been for years of her life. And so I was like, I wouldn't have even had a chance to defend you. <laughs> like, I wouldn't have even, like, the girl in the romper would have been my mom 10 times worse. Like, it yeah. would have been like, I, I can't even. And the girl posted on Instagram in a picture at the Morgan Wallen concert, assumably before the stuff happened she was like unfor- most unforgettable night of my life <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Wait, that's like, of course it was at a morgan wallen concert like that just like literally checks out. <laughs> literally it checks out and, but i think the girl in the pink was like super drunk and just like yeah eh, makes sense. you cut me in line over a porta and i'm like over a porta potty what you yeah. had to wait an extra two minutes that's what i'm saying like, it's just the porta potty like either way it's gonna be a horrible experience like you're going to a porta potty <laughs> I know, like, I've never seen somebody so upset that they didn't get to use that porta potty. If yeah. I, if that was me, I'd be like, shoot, go ahead and go in there, girl. Yeah. I'm like, I'm not wanting to. So uh, yeah, I had to use it. them at the Luke Combs concert a few times because we were tailgating for so long. Oh, They're my. Worst. Do you have anything else? Any parting thoughts before we get into our end of episode fun thing that you want to talk about? Um, let me think. Give me a second. Probably not. I'm trying to think Give of, like. A second. Any books lined up? Do you have anything you're currently reading that's fun? Anything? Any book updates? I'm not reading anything right now because since I am leaving Saturday for a vacation, I've been like trying to film like sit down videos. That way I have like plenty of videos to film. Um, Yeah. I mean, a post. So I haven't been reading anything and I felt guilty over it. I was like, oh, I should be reading. But then I was like, you're literally about to be like just sitting on the beach rotting for a week. Yeah. (laughs) That's That's like all you're doing. A few days off. Yeah. So I was like, whatever. That's fine. So, yeah, I'm not literally reading anything right now. I've read no books this month, and it's the sixth. And that's okay. I, I looked at the at the, the calendar, too, when I was reading Brothers. This, what's the name of that book? Hawthorne Brothers? The Brothers Hawthorne, I'm pretty sure. Uh, well, I don't know why it's, like, backwards like that. Anyway, I was reading that, Neither. and I finished it, like, yesterday or something. And I was like, wow, it's already the fifth. Hmm. Suspicious, or the, whatever day it was. It is pretty suspicious. Anyway, yeah, I don't think I have any other updates. Nothing... Nope. Nothing to look forward to other than you coming to New Jersey in October. That's literally all and, I got. <laughs> but here's the thing, because this morning before, like, whatever, I was planning out, like, the podcast, and then I take, like, in my planner and on my calendar, and I always, like, pencil in, like, what videos I want to film, what days, when I want them uploaded yeah. to, like, plan out my month. And I was doing that, and I was like, oh my god, like, I'm about to go on vacation in a few days. I come home, and, like, September's basically over. And then you come here. I'm so excited. And then I come here. And then I come out. And I then we're going to have like the best. I have already planned out <laughs> so many things that I want us to do. Like even just like cute, wholesome activities. Like, oh, yeah. I sent you that TikTok the other day of like them making the Halloween blankets. I'm 100% oh, getting yeah. the Pillsbury pumpkin cookies. <laughs> And yeah. we're making the pumpkin. You know, people like do the pumpkin cookie and they put like a chocolate, chi- put it inside of the chocolate chip cookie. So it's like yeah. a chocolate chip sugar cookie. Doing yeah. that, making the blankets. It's just a cozy, wholesome time. Oh, yeah. I made last night, my mom had to go to see her dad and I was home by myself and I was like, oh, I'm feeling festive. I made pumpkin <laughs> bread and it was so good. Oh, my God, it was delicious. <laughs> I've never had pumpkin bread. I don't know. Me neither. I was just inspired. I don't like pumpkin but like pumpkin flavored things are good and it just kind of tastes like that but i'm yeah. excited for you to come because right now we're in like a heat wave so thank god you're not here in september it's gonna be like oh yeah high 90s all of a sudden so it should be perfect weather when you're here it should be like 70s and that's like 60 70s it'll feel oh, great i'm so excited i'm literally Me too. i was just thinking about that today i was like i cannot wait I yeah. literally because I was making my mood board for September this morning too and I was like oh, it's like half beach half fall like literally my mood board uh, yeah, it's like half beach and I'm like okay wait until it's fall though, October then it's gonna be all like Halloween and spooky and stuff but yeah it'll be fun um we can get into oh, our end of I'm episode ready. fun thing Sarah texted me and she requested <laughs> that she wanted to do the emojis again so if you guys <laughs> didn't listen slash watch the episode we did like well, that was like a long like I feel like it was a long yeah, while ago this is a few ago that we basically take three emojis and we pick what emojis we think like represents a book so we look at the emojis and then we guess what the book is yes I will post these on the Instagram when we put the yes. episode up but some of them i put four emojis because three wasn't really cutting it so i kind of cheated a little but i'm not I in my room right now I, last what? time i put five and then this time i just put three <laughs> all right that's okay it still counts but i'm not in 
my room right now, so I don't have my books to give me help. This is going to be hard. Do you not remember which ones they were? No, like when I'm looking at the ones that you put, oh. I look around my room to help okay. me out. But It's fine. I'm not by my bookshelf right now, so it's like the same. Okay. All right. Okay. Do you want to go first or do you want me to go first? Like, do you want me to guess you, yours first? Yeah. Do you want to do mine? Yeah, I can I can guess yours, you guess mine, I guess yours, you guess mine. Okay. Okay, perfect. Okay. Great. Okay. Are we ready? <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> okay. So, ready. so your first one is a flame emoji, a keyboard emoji, and a family. Yep. <laughs> I feel like it's painfully obvious and I'm like not. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what is it do you want to know the weird thing i feel like it popped in my head as soon as i like saw it and saw then it, it vanished and now it's nowhere yeah. in my brain let's really think about it the concern on my face if you guys i was like <laughs> like i'm like last i feel trying to figure out you know when i was trying to figure out <laughs> the, the summer, summer turned pretty <laughs> last time that was rough oh my god i feel like it's and i'm having deja vu right now this is all very <laughs> like discombobulating okay a flame, a keyboard. I feel like, is it like a writer of some sort? Do you want me to I give you like know. the genre? Maybe that'll help. Yeah. This one's mystery, thriller. See, that's what I guessed. I thought it was mystery thriller. Frick. Okay, it's not. What? I don't know if you want <gasps> uh, the only one left? Is it yeah. that one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. I was, think I was thinking about like older thrillers that we've read. And I forgot oh, no. that you had just read that. Yes. Yeah, I was okay. gonna say it's recent, but okay. The first one of yours: a cupcake, houses, or neighborhood, and money. Yeah, the money's very important. I'll tell you that. <laughs> oh, is it? Cupcake. <laughs> I'm thinking of like a bakery. When in Rome? No. Ah, the money's important. Is this a romance? Can I ask questions? <laughs> okay, it's a romance cupcake think about the neighborhood the neighborhood okay oh 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 um the final offer yes oh, okay. <laughs> the money's very important <laughs> that makes sense now okay because the series is dreamland billionaires with a b yeah. b b billionaire a b. that always throws me off but yeah because <laughs> she wants to open a little cupcake bakery yeah yeah i okay. forgot about that okay perfect Second got one. that okay so we have the microscope, a heart, texts, like a phone, um, and the doctor jacket. Mm -hmm. I want to say yours truly, but I just don't think it's that one. Mm -mm. Doctors. <laughs> <laughs> like, Is it's it? not the love hypothesis either. It's, um, hey, can't think. <laughs> don't, know. don't think of a doctor's jacket not doctor right no like a like a like scientist a yeah like a lab coat like, <laughs> what because i'm like the only one it's like the love i says love theoretically what other ones have i read where they're a scientist oh my god is it so obvious and i'm just not getting it <laughs> What are we laughing about? What is it? Because you, you already said it. What? Okay, which one is it? <laughs> no, pick one. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I've already said it? Yeah. The text is throwing me off because it could really be the love theoretically or the love hypothesis. It, like, makes more sense for one of them. The phone. And, like, the apps. <laughs> <laughs> just pick like one 50 50 <laughs> i would use the heart as a clue but literally love is in both of the titles <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah that was just me telling you it's a romance <laughs> oh <laughs> um i just like don't remember texting being the love hypothesis but i don't remember it in love theoretically either I'm not texting like the apps apps yeah okay we'll say love theoretically yeah the dating okay. app she, she works for the dating app oh the da oh the fake <laughs> dating thing yeah. yeah okay 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 i get it i get it 
Okay, your second one is a painting, a car, and a, a basket? Yeah. Painting. Like a laundry. Oh, is this Daisy Hates? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow, that was good. <laughs> when, I, when I thought of, like, laundry basket, it kind of clicked a little. <laughs> I know, I was like, laundry. I, I literally thought that there was a washing machine emoji i guess i made that up because i was like, scouring be. for it i was, so I was like daisy one. hates but i couldn't think of any emojis that went with it but that makes sense that one that was yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. okay next one we have a heart a castle a chef and a playing card <laughs> it's obviously a fantasy oh man oh my gosh a chef is what's throwing me off okay a it chef and a castle and a heart with a playing card. Okay. <laughs> like, <laughs> what's going on here? Um, it's a fantasy. Yes. Obviously. I'm trying to think yes. of the... Because we already did... It's not Once Upon a Broken Heart. No. I'm trying to think of another one that's like medieval-ish. Because if it's a castle... <laughs> um, Sarah keeps laughing. <laughs> it's making me like... <laughs> No, it's just because um, of, like knowing what it is and you trying to guess it, like go through the thought process. Baby, I can build a ca- why am I singing? Like, why is that? Why is that <laughs> what my mind doing? So I'm thinking about the clues. Um, Do you want me to like? Do you need any help? No, I'm trying to think of all the fantasy books I've read. Is this a book you've read recently, or like? Um, not too recently, but. You read it before me. I'm not going to give anything away. I wish I could say it. Okay. I'm like, fa- I'm literally picturing my fantasy shelf. I want to let you guys know that I'm going through every <laughs> book on my fantasy shelf in my brain. You read it when you were here. Watching me think probably is like, and I know it's a dead air. This is like my worst nightmare is that it's dead air. Um, <laughs> I literally have no clue. Think of like a baker. <laughs> baker, heart, little joker card. Nothing is coming to my brain. Nothing? Nothing. Do you want me to tell you? Yeah. Heartless. The fantasy. Oh yes! Because <laughs> oh, she wanted to be a baker, and I made yeah. fun of the book because I was like, yeah. That's, uh, "All we know is that she wants to be a baker." <laughs> like I kept on saying that, like shaving yeah. it, but I should have known. Okay, that was a good one, though. I feel like it's a good one if you can't guess it. Like I feel like it's yeah. good. You bested okay. me at that one. <laughs> what are we at three? Okay, a flower, coffee, and two girls, friends. Um flower a daisy is that a daisy that's what i see it as yeah okay daisy coffee and friends are they dating (laughs) (laughs) um what's the backstory between these emojis what's their relationship yeah do these two girls get coffee together um sisters i'll say it's sisters oh sisters sisters Twin sisters. Twin? Twin sisters. Um, twin sisters. Wait. (laughs) Twin sisters. Did I read this recently? There's twin? No. Okay. Okay. Twin sisters. You read this last year. Last year? Twin sisters? <laughs> Who the heck are twins? Um, I will say the book is not about the twin sisters. But oh, but they're it, just twins. Yes. Okay. Daisy. Oh, oh, things we never got over? Yes. Uh. The Daisy because of what's in her hair when Knox uh. first sees her. And he first sees her at a coffee shop. 
Yeah. And then the and twin the, sister, because she has a twin that sister. That makes sense. Okay, that was good. The Daisy should have just given it away, but then I saw the sisters <laughs> and that. Then I was so confused for a second. Okay, that was, okay. That was good. Okay, the fourth one that Sarah has is a microphone, the two little masks for, like, theater, and the little, like, emoji. Suspicious. The little suspicious. <laughs> a little suspicious. Is it once more with feeling? Yeah. <laughs> Hated that emoji. <laughs> That's why I put the suspicious face. <laughs> Literally, if I could use one emoji for that, I'd be like... <laughs> Okay. Me and my twin, we be, have you seen those TikToks? <laughs> yeah, I actually have seen that one. I'm on that trend. <laughs> okay, what number are we on? This is four. Four. Okay. Listening. Lightning. And speaking. <laughs> I will tell you that this is sign language for ASL. I mean, okay. the emoji for ASL. Okay. Thunderstorm. So ASL, thunderstorm, speaking voice. <laughs> what? Okay. Okay, hold on. Not a book you've read recently. I was going to say the only book I know with the sign language is Maybe Someday by Colleen Hoover, right? And that's not the correct answer, so. <laughs> and that's not the correct answer, so. <laughs> Okay, sign language, thunderstorm, um, give me a second, and speaking, is it speaking like they're like yelling at each other? Do they yell? Speaking (laughs) voice. Speaking voice. (laughs) Like voice. Um. Okay. Hold on. Is it a thriller? No. Oh. Romance. Romance. Oh, and I wish you could play the Jeopardy music. I uh, know. That way it's not dead air. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying so hard so that it's not just silence. Hold on. I know. I'm thinking. I'm thinking of my bookshelf. I'm thinking of... Thinking of the bookshelf, thinking and imagining and being in the just idea. Also, I just... While Sarah's thinking, I want to tell everybody that I've been having this problem with my SD cards where, like, there's nothing on the SD card, but then I put it in the camera and it says there's no, like, nothing available. Like, the times run out on the SD card and there's absolutely nothing on it. Like, I deleted everything. So, I don't know how to fix that. Can I get another hint? (laughs) Okay. So, I mean... It's a romance. It's not a book that you've read recently. And it's an OG book talk book. Okay. Small Town. Ah, Archer's Voice. Yes. Wow. (laughs) I feel like once I started saying voice to you, I was like, I feel like I'm giving it away. Yeah, wow. I can't even pick up on that. I was thinking about Archer's Voice. Yeah, the sign language, because, you know, they have to sign to each other. The mm-hmm. voice and then the thunderstorm because isn't the like iconic scene it's like a thunderstorm and he like runs to her house because yeah. he doesn't want her to be mad at him. And then because she doesn't like thunderstorms and he's like I don't want you to. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, that's what it was. Alone. He's like I don't want you to be alone during the thunderstorm. Yeah. Super sweet. I love that book and I feel like again it's like not a book that I think about that often so I saw it in my. You yeah, neither. Like, hmm. Yeah. So, okay. Sarah's fifth one is a wave and anchor in a burning heart. Yes. Wave and anchor. So it takes place on a ship. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there, there's a ship involved. There's a ship involved. It's not. It happened one summer, is it? Mm. It is. No, it is. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's what I thought. Okay. Fifth one: flowers, books, and a jar. Yep. Oh, oh, oh! Is this um? Oh, I always forget the name. Hold on. Kisses. Kisses. Do you know what I'm talking nope. about? It's not, <laughs> not that? a million kisses, no. Oh. A, a oh, thousand okay. boy kisses, is not a million kisses, sorry. Yeah, that's what I meant. Um, jar. Hmm. That's interesting. Flowers. Books. He gives her flowers. <laughs> flowers are a big deal in the book. Okay. Oh, is it, um, wait, what's it called? Practice Makes Perfect? Yeah. What's the jar? Remember how I made fun of how immature it was that she had, like, a swear jar? Oh. 
<laughs> oh yeah remember. maybe it wasn't we it didn't make it onto the podcast but you were like wait i really like that book why do you like it? i was like she has like a swear jar and she's like in her 20s like <laughs> yeah that's so, like what's her okay. name in um what's the book i'm reading waylay she has a swear jar but she's also like 11 that's what i mean like she's like in her <laughs> 20s and she has a swear jar okay oh, so yeah, I, put I put an extra one, one. A little fun Love one. this though. So it's a ring, city, pointer finger, and a rose. <laughs> I was like about to say kiss the sky just because every time I see the ring. <laughs> but is it um, the city? Ring, city, pointer finger, rose. <laughs> this one I, I've been thinking about a lot lately because I saw someone read it. Maybe that'll give it away. It didn't. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, God. I'm so max. I feel like every time we play a game, I'm so bad at it. <laughs> no. <laughs> You're um, not. Some of these are hard. It's only because I know what it is that it's like. Ring. I know. City. Pointer yes. here. Rose. Yes. yes. Think of like, what does the ring entail? What is, what is the like ring? A fake marriage. Okay. You got the trope. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I really have no clue. Do you want me to tell you? Yeah. Marriage for one. You read that? Yeah. Oh, see, I didn't know that you read that. Oh, yeah. I don't remember what month it was. If it was this year or last year, but I read it. I really enjoyed that book. And then Rachel see, just read it in a reading blog. And I knew, because that's what, I'm like, I thought of that when I saw it, but I was like, no, she hasn't read that book. That was like my whole entire thing. I was like, she hasn't <laughs> oh, read it. No, I read that it. That was well, another challenging thing. Read it. I went on Goodreads. I was like, yeah. Dusty, read this? And I went to oh, go see, check. I didn't get that far. I didn't get that far. <laughs> <laughs> Checking Goodreads, but... So moral yeah. of the story is every time we play a game I'm absolutely terrible at no, it you're so not I hope bad. you guys enjoyed it it's like a I don't know I think my brain is done for the day so with that being said I hope you guys enjoyed the little end of episode fun thing and hope you guys enjoyed today's episode I feel like we talked about a bunch of different things so Lots it's very topics. interesting it's like a melting pot of just a bunch of different things so thank you guys so much for listening don't forget like comment subscribe if you're watching the YouTube and if you're not watching YouTube what are you doing <laughs> go subscribe to it go follow the Instagram go do all of that everything's always linked down in the description and just another verbal reminder for you guys on YouTube there's always timestamps on audio there's always timestamps if you go to the description on Spotify Apple whatever there is there's always timestamps, so you guys use those as you want. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to leave a five star review on Apple and Spotify. And we appreciate you guys so much for tuning Thank in you. and sticking with us through everything. And we love ya. Love ya. Bye. Bye.